Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday morning, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we got markets pretty calm to start things off right now. Dow futures negative by nine points, trading at 26,984. S&P futures basically flat, 2998. NASDAQ futures negative by one point, trading at 7951. We got some action in oil, got some action in gold as well. Ten-year yield flat at 1.75%. Quite a week in the markets. 3,008 the high yesterday in the S&Ps as the market continues higher. Jumping over to the VIX this morning, taking a look. Volatility index 1407. A little bit of action in that volatility index still. Pretty muted volatility premium. Start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the indices. We'll jump over to the Dow. Currently trading 26,977. We were over 27,000, getting a little bit of a drop in the last 15 minutes, but nonetheless, right at flat territory from yesterday's close. NASDAQ 100, currently trading 7,950, pretty much at the highs of the pre market session. Back things up to the close yesterday, and you can see we're kind of sitting right where we were. Made it to a low overnight at about 3.30 a.m. Eastern Time of 79.17 in the NASDAQ 100. S&P is trading at 29, excuse me, 29.98. Lows in the S&P is around the same time of 3.30 a.m. of 29.89. We were just above 3,000 before pulling back a bit. Crude oil catching quite a bit, up to $54.60. We're looking at five-minute bars. We're cascading a bit to the lower side, but nonetheless, quite a charge higher for crude oil. Gold contract with some volatility as well. We were hovering at about $14.95 for most of the overnight session. About 2 a.m., we get a trade to lower territory. We'll jump over. We got China GDP overnight. That hitting some of the markets. Lows in gold, 1488, about two hours ago. And as we speak, gold catching a bit, 1495 right now. And the euro US dollar trading at 111.47 as a big, big vote setting up for the stage tomorrow for Brexit. In terms of news out there across the market, I referenced it briefly. China saying its economy grew at 6% in the third quarter, slower than expected. That is the slowest since the first quarter of 1992. Pretty remarkable. And Coca-Cola coming out with their earnings as strong sales for Coke Zero Sugar are driving revenue growth. Coca-Cola staying in business, that's for sure. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up right now. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Have a great Friday, everybody.